What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Now, there's definitely some interesting patterns that we do need to continue looking at here briefly, mainly because we are starting to trend outside of some pretty important technical indicators, specifically on XRP, but we'll also be looking at Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the S&P 500, which seemingly, hopefully, has hit bottom as of yesterday. And today, we should hopefully be at that point Point as well, where we've hit that bottom support right here in white, and we should ideally be moving up from here. That's the goal is to continue this movement up from here, balancing out, you know, hanging out above our support here, and then ideally breaking through. That's the ideal outlook here. And I'll explain a little bit more what I mean about that in a second. But as you guys can see in yesterday's video, we were basically going on and going off and discussing the fact here that with this morning update here, the fact is we broke through a major symmetrical triangle forming on the four hour charts. So you can see the day before we were actually watching that symmetrical triangle form, discussing when that opportunity would be to buy long or sell short. And then we clearly broke down from that. You can see filling in the gap here. We broke down that opened up an opportunity to short XRP to the downside, short term, a very, very, very quick get in and get out, uh, you know, short opportunity here, which is exactly what happened because immediately after that, immediately after correcting downwards, we're right back to where we started from, which we'll talk about in a minute. But with all of that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's jump into today's episode. So guys, first and foremost, top 10 cryptocurrencies market is trading at about 1 trillion, 1.04 trillion, up about 0.2%. You can see for the most part, yeah, we are down in regards to the past week here, about three to 4% on average. But for the most part, we are pretty much just consolidating here. Lots of consolidation across the board for a lot of the major cryptocurrencies. And ideally, that's the market that we're in. It's annoying. It's unfortunate. But we've been flatlined out for quite a while now on most of the major cryptocurrencies, at least short term here. Now, in regards to XRP, we were actually watching on the four hour, the short term technical indicators here on the price, the price graph on the four hour charts. We noticed some sort of symmetrical triangle. There's definitely a higher low, lower high pattern forming here where each time prices went up it was higher than the last. And each time we went down, it was lower than the last. So each time we, uh, what I'm trying to say is each time we broke, tried to head up to the high, we were lower than the previous high. You can see here the formation that was forming here. I had it backwards, excuse me. Um, and then each time we fell, it was higher than the last time here. So each time we decided to fall, it was higher than the last. And these at some point are gonna come and meet and collide with each other, which is right at this apex here. And a decision is gonna have to be made. Are we gonna be breaking up? Or are we going to be breaking down short term here? That's exactly what happened here. The second we confirm closure of the four hour candle a below or above the price floor or the price ceiling, that was the opportunity to get in and short it or long it to the downside. It was a small short opportunity that we took advantage of on BidFi, which is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets me buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits. Literally everything you could possibly think of is offered on BidFi here, which is super freaking cool. If you ask me, you can see we're actually using their integrated trading view chart. You can see right here to track the way XRP was moving to. So the second we saw that confirmation closure right here on the uh, BidFi chart, I just want to draw that in for you guys to see. You can see once we saw that closure, that was the opportunity that we took to short this to the downside here, shorting it on XRP and UCT perpetual trading here. You can see you can buy long, you can sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, everything you can be I possibly think of is offered on BidFi, which is how we took advantage of the small short term, uh, you know, opportunity here. Now, obviously, there's going to be bigger ones. But, you know, since the markets are pretty slow for the most part here, we've been trying to take advantage of everything that we have while we can. Now, obviously, uh, BidFi, you know, for those that aren't familiar with the platform can earn up to $2,888 completely free by signing up with the link down in the description below. You can earn with sign up bonuses, all the exchanges do them, but I highly recommend you check out BidFi here. They're pretty much a one stop shop, definitely a exchange that you should have in your toolbox. I've been using them for over two and a half years. They've been nothing but perfect here. They did remove the demo account, which I do not like, but they should be re-adding that fairly soon, if you ask me. But moving forward from that, looking at these other cryptocurrencies, you guys can see for the most part here, we are still 
consolidating, we are still sliding lower. And it's only going to be a matter of time before either another technical indicator forms or something along those lines kind of reappear. And then we'll be able to continue to grasp that. We are still long term waiting for that run to happen here. It's going to take a while. But ideally, as we've shown in the past here, I've shown you guys the historical charts on how these cryptos like to trade. And you can see for the most part here with the having the Bitcoin having we did this about four days ago and we did it uh, three days ago as well talking about how September is historically bearish in regards to performance here so you can see Bitcoin performance it's historically bearish and we should see some positive results come in the next coming months here October November December Bitcoin monthly performance. You can see how September has been consistently bearish uh, for quite some time now. Like out of all the years, you can see here, September has been the worst. But come October, bullish. Come November, bullish. Come December, bullish. Then we have, you know, 50-50 in January, but it picks back up in February, which is what we're all pretty much waiting for here. And then we get the halving coming in 2024 in April, which is just around the corner here. And that's when we're going to start to see that uptick within most of these major cryptos. And we should continue to carry ourselves much higher than uh, than we're waiting or dealing with right now. So I would ideally think that Bitcoin is going to continue to move up to like thirty four thousand dollars, and then ideally after the having move up to what could be one hundred and forty k. But short term, looking at things right now, you can see there's definitely a new pattern forming here, one that we can't really put a finger on just yet because we are still seeing some movements here. Now I could remove this bottom support. And definitely leave the top resistance. And you can see we're kind of trailing lower. There's a chance this could be a flag. Now, this is typically a bullish flag here. So you can see what that would look like if I drew it. Uh, or a pennant flag here. But you can see kind of what some of that what that would look like here. This is what a bull flag kind of looks like here. The cons the prevailing trend, the pole, the flag pole, and the continuation pattern. That's pretty much exactly what we're seeing right now on XRP. Where we have the uptrend just like this. Here's a lower high, lower low movement here. So we're creating lower highs each time we head lower is lower than the last. And each time we fall or each time we head up higher, it's lower than the last one. And each time we fall, it's lower than the last one. This is typically a textbook bullish indicator pattern here. And this should breach us up higher. Ideally, as we enter 2020 or sorry, as we enter October, we should be fairly bullish for the remainder of that month moving into the end of the year here. And ideally, that should carry us higher because everything is looking for a positive spike in the markets here. Everything is saying undervalued everything is screaming higher movements to come here you can see the continuous this is the first one here's the second one here's the third one here's the fourth one i mean well we haven't had the fourth just yet but it is going to be very soon in my opinion and i do believe we are due to see the correction everything is screaming undervalued here even if you want to say we're bearish everything points at undervalued market movements here 45 on the relative strength indicators here you can see we're trending right at supports we are below and undervalued below the xrp lines here the um sorry the moving averages on the daily you can see on ethereum it's very similar here where we're trading fairly low you can see the continued correction right here, filling in the gap here. This ideally, we're looking to come back up, retest moving average, and get back inside this massive ascending fractal here. So everything is slowly and patiently forming and happening and coming. It's just going to take a little bit of time, which is what we've all been patiently waiting for. This is just like it's history repeating itself. We've seen this in the past here. We did now discover a new kind of uh, descending fractal here forming on Bitcoin, where we are creating these kind of lower high movements. But you can see we are starting to dip a little bit lower and maybe we'll play around in here. But at some point, we are still undervalued. We're trading at 44 on the RSI. Plenty of room to head up to the to the upside here. Rejection off this uptrend. But even if we do dip, I still am a strong believer that's what's going to happen afterwards. And I think it has a lot to do with the S&P 500, which is also showing lots of signs of recovery. Uh, trading at you know 31 on the RSI, we are definitely about to be, if not already are, undervalued in the markets and oversold. And you can see where that's oversold is hitting perfectly in line with the top of the white band here, which is a beautiful indicator of reversal. So I'd likely think that very soon, if we consolidate there or right after that, we should be heading up much higher. And when this kind of pump comes, when this reversal comes, when we see that swing, that should pull Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP with it, the rest of the markets, and we should be moving up much higher. That's truly where my head's at. I don't know how I just did this. No idea. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's truly what I think is is where we're going to be moving to. And I do believe it does appear that way. And in line, and you know, the, uh, the stock market's historical performance too has shown higher movements to come as well here. So you can see even then retesting moving average, even 
becoming oversold. You can see we're at the top here, we hit the bottom, and this kind of lower eye movement should ideally scale us higher. That's what we're looking for. We should see all-time highs probably within a couple of uh, months here into 2024, 2025. It, honestly, maybe even into 2024, we should be at all-time highs, which is pretty incredible if you ask me. So I think we're good. You can see the previous movements here. I mean, even if we just take the previous kind of uh, price range here, I mean, I know this is a bit dramatic, but if we just take this and apply this to that bottom here, you can easily see where the potential is. It's only 60%, but even a 20% reversal into next year will be incredible. But I'm a strong believer that next year is going to have 20, 30% gains making up for the losses that we have. Granted, we're almost near all-time highs as well. So, you know, that's about it, though. Definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.